everyone, I am Pepfavity. Welcome you to this let's play of Super Smash Bros. Bro. I this is not just let me just go ahead and say this is not the first not the first time that I've tried to record this. Um I tried to do this with my friend Rod earlier. Well not earlier, but um a month ago. Uh, let me just get a new entry here. Pepper. There you go. Let's start. Going with the classic. So yeah, um, welcome to this Let's Play. Uh, I the, the videos that I recorded with with Rod are gonna be posted at some point later on. Uh, however, uh, I plan to do that like as an anniversary thing, um, more than anything else. But uh, for the this Let's Play will be div divided into two parts. The first part will show you how to unlock um, characters. Uh, well, you know, because there's many characters in this game and they can be unlocked in a variety of ways that are not adventure mode, because every character can be unlocked in adventure mode, uh, which is new for this game because the adventure mode is just like a story mode and it's kind of cool. I really love it. But um, you have to... I actually just wanted to showcase the other ways in which you can unlock characters in this Ready, game, so I will be switching in between classic mode, um, brawl bit videos, like um, regular versus videos, uh, to unlock stages as well, so that's gonna be the first part of, of the let's play, uh, showing you how to unlock characters and uh, stages, and um, the second part of the, well actually three, three parts is what this let's play is gonna be divided in, the second part of the let's play is gonna be um, how to, well that's, there goes Vikong. The second part of the Let's Play is going to be on how to... Well, uh, the entire adventure mode, which is in this game called The Subspace of Misery. So that's what I'm gonna do as the second part of this Let's Play, and the third part of the Let's Play will be completing the checklist, as I've been doing for the past almost year now, with Kirby Air Ride. Um, because this game was also developed by Masahiro Sakurai, it also has a checklist, because it seems to be a theme with him. And, um, kind of like a checklist, it's not called that in this one. Uh, challenges is what it's called, but I'm gonna be trying to complete every single one of them. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do. So hopefully you guys don't grow bored of this game. Uh, in the meantime, Super Smash Bros. 4 should be released, at least for the 3DS. I think this Let's Play will take me around, uh, three months, four months to complete. Um, if I upload, if I don't miss any uploads. Um, and that is if I am really lucky, because, well, these, this game uh, doesn't go as fast as Melee. Of course, a lot of people complain about that. I actually like this game quite a bit. Uh, if you tell me to compare them and choose one, I would just roll just because of, um, of all the differences in the, in the game mechanics. They are minor, mind you, but... Um, I would choose for all almost every single time. When you put it into perspective, uh, for competitive play, of course, melee is the best. Um, but for me, just brawl is the best one. Um, and well, not the best one. They both have good things. I won't say one is better than the other. Of course, both both of the games that have been released so far are better better than um, 64. But um, that's to be expected. Since 64 was more kind of like an experiment of sorts. <sighs> New Fork City in team matches. Not the best thing. It's a, uh, I started practicing today early in the morning and um, before I streamed. Today actually was my first stream. Uh, come on, don't let any of those Lucases grab it. This is called at Final Smash. One of the few mechanics that was introduced in this game uh, compared to Melee. And the Final Smashes were actually supposed to make an appearance in the original Super Smash Brothers. But they got cut due to well, I don't know if it was time constraints or just not making, not being able to make them work properly on the on the system. Finally, freaking Lucas's. So yeah, we are starting this let's play off by going. Freaking damn it, target smash. Uh, the thing is, I started on normal, but um, this game doesn't have a dedicated um, target smash like the. Target Smash from the previous games is gone. In this one, Target Smash is just uh, an obstacle curse. It's actually five different obstacle curses um, designed for uh, every single character. It's not one pair of characters, it's just five of them, and they vary in between, in between difficulties. So this is the one for normal, uh, so that's level two of the thing. We can still, um, there's still the Target Smash in the stadium where you can, well, you know, um, 
try it out, we'll try every any difficulty you want, whenever you want. And um Come on now, come on now, come on now. Meta Knight, Meta Knight. I don't care what you think you are. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Meta Knight! Oh my god. Bombs. Bombs everywhere and they're coming my way. So, uh, by this point, I I am assuming, of course, I've not explained the controls, but by this point, I am assuming that you watch the How to Play video um, and the other bonus things that I upload at the very beginning, because I unload, uh, I upload a How to Play before I upload the actual episode, um, just for people that don't really know the controls and whatnot. So yeah, the main difference here with the um, well, yeah, it's something that I, I've been meaning to tell you also. Uh, uh, the main difference here in between this classic mode and a classic mode for melee is this one, uh, even though it is comprised of 12 stages, it only has two bonuses and um, and it has two two battles, like two team battles, and may also have two giant battles per, per match. Um, usually, I'm not entirely sure on this, but usually it is stage uh, 10. And stage and or stage nine that have one of the stage ten for double bat uh, for team battle, and uh, as well as stage three I think, and um, stage something else. What was it? Stage nine for the giant battle as well as stage two, um, and uh, there was another thing. Oh yeah, stage seven is always this, uh, always a medal. Uh, so it's not really before the boss anymore, uh, before Master Hand, which is still in here with the classic. Uh, of course, characters got movesets uh, changed, they got nerfed and got buffed, and a lot of other things happened. So, of course, uh, range attacks for Mario, for example. Um, the fireballs do a little bit more on the recoil part, uh, however... Oh, come on. Oh my god. This fox. This fox, man. Come on now. Come on now. No, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. Um, something new about Mario is Flood. Mario's move was move set was up, updated for uh, with Super Mario Sunshine, which was not out by the time Melee came out. Uh, but in this one, he can use Flood as part of his uh, move set, like this. Charge it up and release a lot of water to move your enemy away from you. And it Flood also sticks around for a little while after you use it. Which is a little, a little nice detail and actually gives it uh, a little bit of a Super Mario Sunshine vibe back to it, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Say, oh, come on, Fox. I know you're metal and anything, but yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, I don't know if you can notice as well, but there is no actual bonuses in this part in this game. Uh, it only bonus, it only gives you uh, points for your actual score damage and the time remaining. Uh, on the clock, so that's what your score's made of. I'm fighting myself, god dang it! Mario and Peach! This is the Mushroom Kingdom! I like this stage. A lot. Come on now, Peach. Stay away from that. Okay, I damaged Mario, apparently. Okay, I want to be a Hamron King. Uh, some of the bonuses from the previous game are always gonna be engraved in my mind. However, Peach. Peach, I hate you. Okay, that's not good. You're gonna have to come down. I am I am gonna try to do this. Except for the fact that I'm not gonna try to do this all the time. Yeah, because of that. Because of that. I am now, I am now, I am now not wanting to be here anymore. So please take that. No, freaking Mario. Peach, leave that. That's not yours. It is mine. This, uh, there's, there's basically two... Uh, one one hit knockout uh, items in this game apart from the bad which is pretty hard to hit on uh, hit with uh, with one of which is called the smash ball which I already demonstrated one of the new additions the final smashes and um, the other one is the dragoon from Kirby era in another game that I'm not playing holy moly freaking Mario stay away from me with that bat this is taking way too long I am waiting way too- I am taking way too long. Come on now, Mario. And you're dead. And I survived. Thank you. <laughs> Super close-up of Mario's face. I have, I've yet to lose a life, which now that I've said that, it's probably gonna jinx me. 
Um, funny story! Whenever Super Smash Bros. Um, Brawl was announced and I saw the artwork, um, I didn't know who Pit was, and um, due to him just showing, just showing like a teensy tiny bit, and then so I, I don't remember which which was artwork or official art or what whatnot, but um, faces kind of like the ones that appear on the GameCube's uh, on Melee's cover. Uh, box, box art, box cover, whatever, um, appeared, and uh, I thought that Pit actually was Roy, signifying Roy's return in in melee. And then I saw Martha, and I'm like, well, yeah, totally, that's that's Roy. Uh, but, uh, well, of course, I followed the the, the web page, but uh, until I actually read Pit, Pit, um, I knew that he was like from a different game and whatnot. So th that was a little bit interesting for me, just how. Similar, he looks from the upper part of his face, but it's a completely different character from a completely different era. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty easy for you to get knocked down in these uh, giant battles, especially with Yoshi that I've seen. No, no. Wow. I, yep. See, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy because they get a smash attack on you and a couple, couple of other hits, and you're dead. Uh, this is gonna be pretty hard for you, Mario. Oh, ooh, I also got hit. And that's a that's a goodbye to you, Mr. Sir. And I really like my air combos in this game. Come on now, Wario. Stay away from me. <laughs> There's a rendition, the rendition in English of Mona Pizza. Oh, uh, from what game was it? Oh, uh, which Wario game was it, Mona Pizza? Because it's, I, I am, I am 100% sure that it's uh, from WarioWare, but it, I just don't know which one. But yeah, that's okay. We, we, we did it. We defeated Wario, being giant Mario it doesn't matter. And here's another target smash. So yeah, the, both of the bonuses in this game, um, during classic, are just target smashes. So from different difficulties, the first one you get is from the difficulty that you're playing on. Uh, the second, the second one you get is from the difficulty above. Okay, that's that. Take it! Take it! Ow! Goodbye to that. And there you go. Complete. <laughs> Mario's pants. Mar that's the nice detail that they had in this game. Mario's uh, overalls look amazingly detailed and realistic. Now this is what the Metal Fight before um, Master Hand was replaced with. Uh, Free for all, four versus four, in um, well, it's a four, four for all, I guess. That's what they called it recently in a Nintendo Challenge video. Um, a four for all in um, in Final Destination. I don't know if I grabbed that as a sticker. In this game, there's two types of collectibles: stickers that will actually help you in adventure mode uh, as equipables, and um, trophies that are just um, trophies, like in the previous game. I, I'm not exactly... I'm not entirely sure of how many there are in this game, but I, I am entirely sure that uh, it's more than 500. Yeah, take that banana. That's, that's another thing uh, that I don't like about this game. The tripping and the banana peels that it introduced. Um, it's also a little bit weird with the air dodging, because in melee, because I, I just finished Melee. The Let's Play of Melee finished a week ago, I think, uh, from the time that I'm posting this. Good thing it did not come my way. But I am doing this, and I'm gonna die first. I am totally willing to die first. Or and Link apparently likes doing that. So I didn't die first. In this game you also have three different taunts per character. Is Mario okay? <laughs> Wow, look at all those coins in the background. <laughs> and finally, stage 12, if you would please game. Game, thank you. <laughs> Takes a long time to load. I kind of hate that from this game too. Uh, it takes a long while to load. And due to it having uh, online capabilities, you cannot transfer your data, so you guys better appreciate the fact that I erased my entire Smash data for you. Um, not only from this game, 
input from Melee and from the, the original one. And I'm more probably than not gonna erase my data or just, well actually no, for the for the Wii U one I'm just gonna create a, an alternate user so that I can let's play that game uh, at some point in the future. But uh, for the 3DS one, maybe at some point I'll have to erase my data just for you guys. So you better appreciate that because it's hours upon hours upon hours of work erased. <laughs> But no, actually, it's it's a it's a teeny teensy tiny way for me to actually force myself to do this because I, for example, I never completed All Star with all the characters from this game, so that's a, a kind of like a way to actually force me to do it. And uh, now we get an actual bonus cleared on normal. Um, I, I, we did lose a life. If we didn't, if we hadn't, I think that also gives you a bonus. But of course, in this game, you get instead of getting three trophies per character, you will only get two. It's one for clearing the regular classic mode and one for clearing all-star, which is also making a return once you unlock all the characters in the game. Which, of course, we haven't, so let's just cue the credits. Wait, this game doesn't show you the credits because there's uh, a story mode that will show you the credits after you finish it, which is pretty long, a pretty long ride. Let me just tell you that. Uh, hello, Lucas, Diddy Kong, Squirtle, Ike. Lucky to and spiny. Yeah, this is just kind of like a replacement for me showing you the the actual items and talking about them. Um, here you will get to see everything. These are the Pokemon that are available from Pokeballs. Celebi and Mew are also here. Sandbag, Hothead, Mr. Saturn, Bubomb are special character uh, things. And so far we've gotten two trophies, which is kind of sad. And we've got 84 hits, it's 84 possible hits, we got 73 out of that, we got 13 coins out of it. And we got movies, these ones are not so small as melees! And we get a... Congratulations! Thank you very much, game. And of course, we get a challenger approach, uh, approaching. Uh, this is for completing the classic mode in um, normal. And that's also the reason why I wanted to do this um, first, like showcase how you can un unlock other characters uh, without the story mode, because it's the only actual way you can see that screen of Challenger approaching. Which I think is a shame, because that screen is what defines Smash for some people. For me, uh, I will never say that it's a versus, because I barely ever play with friends, and when I do play with friends they destroy me. <laughs> So, um, for me, what defines Smash is actually unlocking the characters and the stages and just feeling the magic of it all. I actually wanted to charge this up, though, game. Thank you. Uh, by the way, um, as you know, there's four, four different ways to play this game. Uh, one is with the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck, one is with only the Wii Remote, one is with the Classic Controller, and another one is with a GameCube Controller. I am not able to play with a GameCube Controller, at least not yet, because I don't have... Uh, I'm playing on my Wii U because um, on the field recordings I tried to record with Rod on the Wii. Oh, there you go, Excite Truck. Clear target smash level 2 in under 19 seconds, clear target smash level 2 once, uh, clear target smash level 3, and uh, clear classic on normal difficulty, which also awarded me a hammer that will open up any of those. As you can see, uh, this is pretty much just like Kirby Air Ride, in which it will tell you the surrounding uh, challenges. So brawl in the Pokemon Stadium two ten, uh, stage 10 times to unlock a stage, there's sticker unlockables, there's trophy unlockables, and clear target smash into level 5 in under 30 seconds, clear target smash level 2 with 10 characters, and all of these things. Th this will I, I will be covering to unlock stages and other things, um, but in the meantime, there's also a new feature called My Music in this game, in which you will be able to customize the music that comes up in the stages. Uh, in Melee, there were up to two or three tracks per stage that will come up after you finish the game, uh, as well as the menu. In this one, there's around five or six tracks that will come up in a stage, and you can customize the frequency with which they come to. This is Excite Truck. I'm not entirely sure which one, which that, which one that comes out in, but Icicle Mountain Melee comes out in the Ice Climbers stage, which is called just Iceberg in this one, and it's the little remix. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And Captain Falcon, the Invincible F Zero pilot, has joined the brawl, and we clear Classic for the first time, and we've unlocked level two of Target Smash to play for free, and level three as well.
to play for free whenever we want. So now you can see Captain Falcon all the way over here. However, I'm gonna do a second run. I'm gonna go with Donkey Kong on easy difficulty just cause, um, because I want to unlock the other, the first level of target test. And because I think I spent a little bit more time than usual on this um, on this specific video, because I put up the the intro to the game. So just to make it a bit easier, that and because Donkey Kong is not my um, not my main character, and I don't really know how to use him. Yeah, roll, roll, little monkey, roll. I'm fighting myself again. God dang it! Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, game? <laughs> Ready, okay, go! so yeah, this is pretty much how it's gonna be whenever I do a classic mode uh, video. You're gonna get two characters in one video, so that we may finish this faster because on the previous one, I did on melee, I did um, one classic and one adventure mode, which were nine minutes and eighteen minutes, and with all the cutscenes and whatnot, it ended up being around uh, thirty minutes per video, around that time, in between thirty and forty minutes per video. Um, I actually, I actually got my chronometer today in the morning, and I speculated around 30, 30 to 32 minutes for this first video. Uh, not taking into account the fight with Captain Falcon, because I didn't think that would actually happen uh, right away. But it did happen, so this video is going to be around 32 35 minutes, if my calculations are correct and whatnot. So, Team Ike. The good thing about Donkey Kong is that he can do this. The only bad thing is that in this game, uh, the sensibility to go through those um, floors is kind of pretty sensitive. So, if you press the down button on one of those, you're pretty much guaranteed to go through the floor. And that's not really helpful to me because I don't want to go through the floor. I just want to stay up there and make my killing of the teams faster. Look at Donkey Kong, he's so burly and so manly being... Target Smash! Hello Target Smash! How would you like to be defeated by a giant ape? There we go. One, two, three, there we go. So yeah, this is pretty boring. These Target Smashes are not my favorite thing. That is something else that Melee excelled at that this game just doesn't get right. Uh, target smashes, and I really hope that target smashes come back for specific characters in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, because for the 3DS, I don't know if there's gonna be target smashes. Um, they are a thing, kind of, in Smash Run, as a challenge to get uh, trophies and coins and power-ups, but I'm not entirely sure if it, they're gonna come back in uh, Smash Bros. for Wii U, as a part of something else. No one is entirely sure, though, if there will be a classic mode for 3DS. Which is also bugging me, kind of. Because I want to be able to carry my, my 3DS all everywhere and be all like, Hey, I am playing a thing. Take that. Take this. And this. And King Diddy should be almost dead. Now he's dead. And you should be too. There you go. Oh, I'm guarding! I'm guarding! This is a halberd. Oh my god, this is just so much new stuff, so many new things that I that I need to cover and tell you all tell all of you guys. This stage is based on the on the tutorial level of Metroid Prime, which is awesome. Uh, Metroid Prime 1 is actually on, the only one of the three Met, uh, Metroid Prime games that I've actually played and finished. Metroid Prime 2 I started, but I stopped playing after um, after you get to Dark Aerith for the, for this Dark Aether? Dark Aerith? Dark Aerith? I am not entirely sure what's called the planet, but uh, when you get to the Dark counterpart, you meet uh, Dark Sands for the first time, that's when I stopped playing, because I just couldn't get my bearings, and I just stopped playing. Um, and Metroid Prime 3, I started playing, I finished the first boss battle, and I did quite a few things. Oh my god, that could be potentially dangerous, because it's a gigantic Captain Falcon. When they say giant, they not um, they not they don't mean like, hey, this guy this guy got a mushroom and now he's big. It means this guy had a mushroom and then he got another mushroom and oh, somehow it made a double effect and that's that's just how huge it is. So you gotta be careful with the attack because it, I I don't know if it's times four or um or what, but their power is multiplied. So you gotta be careful with that. And goodbye. Thank goodness. Port down, air dive. Thank you very much. 
Uh, I think we've already battled. We had already battled. Well, yeah, we battled there to unlock Captain Falcon, but I think that stage is unlocked by the, from the very beginning. Metal Peach, you should not take long to get rid of. Oh, God dang it! Except for the fact that I did not grab you from the correct way. This is the way that I. Oh, right, you're you're made of metal. Not gonna work. Okay, man, man. Man, the bumper from the original game also makes a return, which actually killed Peach better than my throws. <laughs> that's... I, I think that's sad. There you go, there's a second giant pit. And the next one is gonna be a team battle. No. 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 <sighs> Skyworld is one of the toughest ones to get Donkey Kong's down B move uh, working. When I was practicing today, early in the morning, um, I got Skyworld with a with a team of, pe of pits um, for a match. It was the hardest thing ever to be able to just finish off completely, well, really freaking fast. Because it was it was just hard. Hello, Team Wario. I am glad to meet you. I am Donkey Kong and I will be your guest today. Staying by the middle platform. Uh, well, no. Staying by the middle. Near this, near this platform where you can fall. Now, as you can see, Wario has a thing uh, different from... Excuse me, Wario. Uh, different from any other characters, he has two different um, two different costumes. One with his regular purple overalls, and one with uh, with the Wario word Wario word scheme, which is actually kind of interesting. This is what is called a uh, an alternate costume or al alternate skin, and that's seeing a lot of light in Super Smash Bros. 4. That's really amazing. I mean, it was a really nice, cool detail with Wario, but for Super Smash Bros. 4 to get it on, like, uh, with uh, alternate costumes for different genders for avatars, because that game is filled up with avatars, uh, it's just amazing. I love it. I love the idea. Okay, I messed up, so my time here is not gonna be much better than with Mario, but that's okay. So there you go, got that. And now we gotta go and do a little thing, a little thing. Another thing that's different from the from the previous games is that the difficulties, instead of ranging from very easy to very hard, it starts from easy, then goes to normal, hard, very hard, and then adds another one, which is brutal. So now there's not only not only there's only one level of easy, but there's also three levels of hard. Um, I'm not sure why they did that, doesn't really make sense to me, but I think they're not even keeping that for uh, Smash Bros. 4, because I think they're adapting something from uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, which is, uh, it was called the, the Fiend Cauldron in that game. I'll stay away from that, it's gonna explode at any moment. Okay, apparently not, because Lucas threw it out the freaking window. Okay, I killed Nana. It serves no purpose, but I killed her. Uh, Lucas, okay, you and I know that one of us is not leaving this place alive. You left alive and then you died on your way out. There you go. <laughs> we're almost there, we're also going, we're just getting to Master Ham now. Master Hand, Master Hand. Um, I think by clearing an EC we get another secret character, another hidden character, so that's gonna be another thing. Now as you can see the health increases. Uh, pretty awkwardly, like from easy it's 150 and then in normal it's 250. So it's not a steady rate as in... Um, I mean it's still a thing that is pretty determined, but it's not steady. Um, like steady increases like in um, melee. Come on, let me fall down, let me fall down, No. Okay, I was about to fall down. In this game, you can control your character after you finish Master Hand, so that's why I love Clear without losing life. There you go, that's another bonus. Sand cleared on easy, which isn't really making me proud, but it's also part of a checklist. And will also unlock a target smash thing for us. So that is a thing. And there goes the Donkey Kong. Bing, ding, boom. That's the second trophy. That's the second trophy we get here. And listen to that music. Do you recognize it? Do you recognize this is from Donkey Kong Country, the first one? I'm not sure Donkey Kong Country Returns was released at this point in time. And yeah, the, all the fighters that are added to the roster are also added to the credits here. Well, 
pseudo credits. They're not really credits. They're just um, a little mini game to pass the time. Now let me just do this because you can you, you can just um, yeah go, make it go faster. Uh, I don't really care for the coins right now. We don't really need them all that much. At, at least not now. Do -do 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 -do. We're getting movie number two. There's Donkey Kong. And congratulations! Yeah. New Pork City, Kinko, reference, <laughs> and new challenger approaching, a new foe has appeared. Of course, who could it be with that silhouette? Looks extremely like Mario, who could be? Of course, in Luigi's Mansion comes Luigi. Hello, Luigi. How'd you doing? No. That's what you get. You get a big fat no. And another no. And, oh, I thought I got rid of you. There you go. Goodbye, Luigi. And we unlock Luigi, as well as Captain Falcon this time. Two of the veterans. So, clear classic on easy difficulty. Activates running Chibi Robo from the game Chibi Robo as a sticker. Apples from the first target smash level. Th those are the two. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine, then. Uh, we got Apple Trophy, we got running Chibi Robo, and Luigi, the Green Wanderer, has joined the brawl. So, that's it. So that's everything for this episode of Let's Play Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to the channel if you really liked the video. And I'll see you guys later for more Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Later, guys.